All right, today's video is going to demonstrate how to create configurations of parts. What I have on screen is a simple bracket that we might use to mount something uh, to another part. And this bracket has two countersunk holes that you see here. However, I might need to have another version of this part that is functionally equivalent, except for instead of these countersunk holes, I might like to have a slot. But everything else stays the same. So what we'd like to do is use SolidWorks configurations to take advantage of this. To begin creating configurations, look in the Feature Manager and look at the third tab. It looks like two yellow blocks and click on that. That brings you to the Configuration Manager. Presently, our model only has one configuration, the default. To create new configurations, let's just right click on the name of the part and choose Add Configuration. And I'll make two configurations. One I'll call With Slot. and another configuration I'll call with holes. Think of configurations as just placeholders where I can have a different representation of the model where it might be different dimensions, different color, different custom properties like material and so forth or different combinations of features and uh, the way we'd like to design this one is that we'll have one configuration that has holes in another configuration we'll have a slot. To change configurations in the Configuration Manager, just double click on the desired configuration and you'll see that the yellow block indicates the active configuration. Now my configuration called With Holes is basically completed. It's the model in its present state. My model, or my configuration called With Slot, is not complete. What I need to do is take away the holes and draw in a slot. So with the configuration called With Slot enabled, let's go back to the Feature Manager tree, and the first thing we'll do is suppress any features that we don't want in this configuration. Here, we'll take the Whole Wizard feature and suppress it. So now I have a suppressed feature. Now I can go in and draw in the slot that I'd like. So I'll just simply create a new sketch. Use the S key for a shortcut. Let's draw in a center line inferencing the midpoint of that line segment. And now I'll just use the Offset Entities command to do a bidirectional end capped slot with a thickness of eighth of an inch. Grab my dimension tool to get an overall length 1.5 inches and maybe dimension from one edge a quarter of an inch and from the other edge Now I have a fully defined section. Can use our features toolbar to create an extruded cut through all and maybe even apply a chamfer around that edge. And lastly, let's take that cut extrude and change its color. So I've added two more features, Extrude 4 and Chamfer 1. However, I only want these features to be present in my configuration called With Slot. Let's go back to the Configuration Manager tab and see what happens to any other configurations. If we go back to our configuration called With Holes and activate that configuration by double-clicking, you'll see that it shows the configuration with just the holes. So SolidWorks has intelligently understood that any features that I created while in the configuration called with slot I would want those automatically suppressed in the configuration called with holes. We can see here the slot and the chamfer that I added in the other configuration is suppressed in with holes. So now all we do, let's go back to the configuration manager let's just double click or we call visiting, visiting a configuration to see if it displays the way we like and indeed we now have two representations of this part one with holes one with a slot and that's how you create configurations